Hi guys, how's it going? Mark here. So in this video, what I'm going to talk about is how to remain more upright while you're squatting, okay? So, really having your chest picked up and your shoulders back in your squat technique, okay? So first off, I'm going to put up a video just showing what I mean by, you know, not being upright, but kind of leaning forward a wee bit. So you can see that at the bottom of the squat, it's really, you're, um, you're bent over a lot more than really what's optimal, okay? So... <clears throat> what this is going to do is you're leaning forward too much and you're overworking your lower back, okay? So you're putting too much pressure on it, it's kind of more of a bend, you know, the same as a good morning, really, when you're really, you see your hips are going far too far back and your knees are kind of, they're too parallel to the ground and you're you're just putting too much pressure on your posterior chain, really. So this can be caused by tight ankles if you can't get your knees forward enough to allow you to remain more upright. Or you could just have, you know, you could have been taught to squat that way and you've just developed improper technique over time. Okay, so the first way of fixing this is to really increase your ankle flexibility and your ankle mobility, okay? So this can be done with simple calf stretches and things like that. Um, just really train yourself to let your knees come a wee bit more forward. Once your ankles are flat and you're driving through your heels or the centre of your foot, you'll be alright, okay? So it's not actually bad for your knees once you're doing it at the right time, okay? You want to break evenly at the hips and the knees so you're coming straight down and you're not putting too much pressure on the front of your knee, okay? If you break at your knees first, you might go too far forward and you'll just be putting pressure on your ligaments, okay? Um, so this will help to promote an upright posture if you're letting your knees carry a bit foot more forward because the bar will still be over the centre of your foot and you'll be able to sit more upright at the bottom, okay? Now, if you if you have um, poor mobility, poor flexibility in your, in your ankles, well then what you can do is place some small plates underneath it okay so i have another video here showing what i mean um so this raises up your heel a wee bit it compensates for you not having the flexibility that is required for your knees to travel a bit more forward and yeah that'll promote an upright posture as well okay so it simulates better mobility and this will allow your quads to come into the movement a wee bit more so it'll actually make you a bit stronger okay so you are more upright, you're not placing as much pressure on your lower back and your quads are coming in a bit more so you've got extra strength really. The last thing I'm going to show you is squatting in Olympic weightlifting shoes, okay? So these have a raised heel so that's, you know, it's kind of a step forward from the putting the plates on your ankles, especially if you're a powerlifter because you can't compete like that, okay? So this allows you to sit further back in the squat, okay? So keeping your, your shoulders up more, the bar would be over your heel instead of the centre of your foot. So you can, you can keep a better upright posture, you can see it in the video. Um, it allows you to push through your heels as well. You know, it's the same as the plates, but it's more comfortable in the shoes. Um, so you can push through your heels and it'll allow you to lift a wee bit more weight once you get used to them, okay? So when you're starting off, you might have a wee bit of discomfort in your knees, you know, for the first few workouts. Your quads could be a wee bit more so, but once you get used to it and you get adapted to it, you'll start being able to lift a wee bit more weight. So you just really need to give it time. Um, so what it's doing is it's changing your centre of gravity. Instead of the bar being over the centre of your foot, it's for the back. Okay, so you're really pushing through your heels. You don't want to still let the bar travel forward because you're kind of you're wasting the benefits of it. And it might be more comfortable, or more uncomfortable, and you, your squat could actually go down. It could regress due to that. So yeah, another benefit of these shoes over the putting plates on your ankles is that they are far more stable. Okay, they're more solid shoes. Because they're built for weightlifting, whereas, you know, the plate has a rounded edge and you're kind of sitting on the edge of it and it's just a bit weird. So, that is, you know, that, that's a big benefit of it. But that is, you know, that's that's it really. You wouldn't really need to get shoes if you could use the plates. Unless you're going to compete with that or if you're lifting really heavy weights, then I'd recommend for you to get the shoes. But that's it, yeah. Uh, that'll help you remain more upright. Either of these methods, okay, you know, it kind of... Letting your knees travel forward is the first method, okay? But if you have plates under your heels or a raised heel shoe, well then you're going to be even more upright again, okay? So it's kind of different stages of it. But, you know, try them out. Um, let me know how it goes. If you have any other questions, just comment below. If you like the video, please click like. If you want to subscribe, that'd be great. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.